Butts Van Wa Tears in Tamoyo, Kasaku Weir, Zhu Wow. War veterans yesterday accused the faction in ZANU PF of peddling falsehoods against the ex freedom fighters by linking them to various political outfits in the country. Addressing a press conference in Harare yesterday, Zimbabwe National Liberation War Veterans Association Zmlva, Chairman Christopher Mutz Van Waal said G40 kingpins had no idea how the economy functioned as they were focusing on shallow political vindictiveness that is isolating the country from global capital. The former war veterans minister said it was unheard of for a country like Zimbabwe with numerous resources to be in such miserable state. Responding to allegations that they were organizing an alliance of opposition parties to face ZANU-PF in next year's elections, Mutz Van Wa said although they believe in unity, it was not the duty of the failing G40 faction to align them to any political outfit in the country. Since they expelled us, they, G40, have been acting like hawkers, selling us to every opposition party in the country. They are hawking us to every opposition figure in this country and who are they to hawk us? We haven't declared any allegiance to any of those parties. Who is G40 to speak for us? They are not our spokesmen, and we are our spokesmen, he said. Mutz Van Wa described war veterans as masters of strategy and practitioners of tactics, saying their line of defense were the people of Zimbabwe. We want to state that we are not a political party, we have never been a political party and we will not be a political party," Mutz Van Wa said. When we fought we had to teach the whole country to become a united front in order to achieve a common cause. We have pursued united front politics all our life because we want the maximum unity from all Zimbabweans. He said the reason why their foes were alleging all funny conspiracies against them was that they were haunted by the fact that they were in positions they do not deserve and the prospect that one day tables would turn against them. Mutz Van Waal said it was ironic that they were fired on the basis of supporting Vice President Emerson and Gagwa. He said up to now the VP was still there and as a desperate move, G40 was trying to marry them with many political outfits or individuals like Ikona founder Strive Masaiwa. He described the G40 faction as intellectually bankrupt with its ministers and cabinet failing to offer anything tangible. The resources of Zimbabwe are as high as Mount Nyangani and the mind of Jonathan Moyo, higher education minister, is as shallow as Batoki Gorge, very small. And now you can understand why there are no jobs, you can understand why everyone is applying for a passport to leave the country. There is a very small mind, Mutz Van Wa said. He alleged Moyo was functionally illiterate, whereas in business he knows nothing. He wrote some stupid document called Zim Asset which he sold to the country as the panacea to all the problems. What has it delivered? Grinding poverty which worsens by the day, Mutz Van Wa said. He alleged ZANU PF National Commissar Xavier Kasakuwa was following Moyo blindly while Youth and Indigenization Minister Patrick Zuwao acts like a puppy. The war veterans leader said the ZANU PF Mass Bingo provincial elections should be an eye opener that things were falling apart in the G40 faction. Mutz Van Wa described War Veterans Ministry Secretary Walter Tapfumani I as a busybody who thrives on intimidating people over his past experience in the dreaded Central Intelligence Organization. He, however, said President Robert Mugabe was still the War Veterans patron. Mutz Van Wa said Command Agriculture was becoming successful because it was in the hands of the Army and not the G40 faction. Kasaku Weir, Moyo, Zuwao and Tapfumaniya could not be reached for comment last night.